Hello everybody, this is MD StarCraft. The MD does not mean I have a degree in StarCraft, although if I could get one, I wouldn't a heartbeat like like that. I don't know if you can hear, but I snapped right there. Anywho, uh, the MD actually stands for Maryland. That's where I live. I love Maryland. You all should come out and visit Maryland. None of you probably live in Maryland. Half of you have probably never heard of it. But you know what? I don't care, because I like it. Anywho, today I have for you the second game in a five-game series. Yay for five-game series. Uh, a series between Lalish and Nama. Lalish playing as the Red Zerg. Nama playing as the Blue Terran. Uh, I don't know if you caught it, but at the end of last game, right after Lalish, you beat Nama in that huge, epic battle. Uh, he said... Or I think Nama said go steps, so here we are on Steps of War. Uh, Lalish is in the bottom left, Nama is in the top right. Nama not trying that crazy fast gas factory build this time. I don't know, maybe he is. I guess he still could technically. Uh, he wasn't able to do that good of uh, Hellion Harass last time, so probably not going to see the same thing again. Lalish doing pretty standard Overlord into Extractor Trick into lots of drones. He's a 13 now. Will he get a fast pool? Looks like he's going to go for the fast expand again, or maybe scouting drone. Nobody knows. And actually, I spoke too soon. Nama is doing, uh, I think it's uh, 11, 10 depot, 12 gas, 13 racks. Uh, and then factory build. You get your factory right after the racks is done. It's a very interesting build. I almost want to try it a few times. This map, though, however, has very short rust distances, and we do have Lalush going for a 14 pool, so he's not going for fast speedlings, which would probably be more effective against this quick, uh, Hellion build. However, um, you never know. He might just be able to beat it anyways. This map does have a very narrow choke on the ramp. I think just three roaches can completely block this off against Hellions, so look for Lalush to do something similar to last game when he blocked off. Oh, Lalish is getting pretty mineral high. Are we going to see him go for an expansion? That's what I would think. Uh, maybe not. Anywho, uh, Nama is also getting pretty mineral high, but he's saving up for a factory because he's a good little boy. Anywho, so this is a five-game series. Second game, we are on Steps of War. Lalish is currently up 1-0. I don't know if this was played for a tournament or something. Uh, if any of you do know, post in the comments and make me feel totally like a noob because I didn't know. Anywho, we do have the spawning pool down. Queen's Zerglings coming out. Nama doesn't have anything to defend himself to speak of against these Zerglings. Notice he does have enough for the factory right away to wall in. If this pesky drone would just get out of the way... Oh, drone 3 health. Almost going down. Didn't block the factory, though. Anywho, a lot of um, money for Lalish, and he is expanding. Yay. Uh, Nama going to completely see that, but these Zerglings going to be like, get out of here, SCV. This drone also going to maybe... Uh, get away, get away, SCV. Oop, you're on creep now. This Zerg is going to own your face in. Uh, SCV goes down. Queen got the kill. Yeah, for Queen. Queen's own kill is enough. Anywho, uh, Lalish doing the classic extractor steal again. Nama, is he going to try to kill it this time? He is going to bring his Marine out to kill it. Is Lalish going to cancel it? Oh, canceled it just in the nick of time and got the drone back on them. This is distracting Marines from the front, so that these Zerglings will be able to actually get through here. I mean, if they would eventually kill those buildings while this extractor goes up. Uh, do you know we have the Roach Worm going down too? So almost an I identical builds as last game going down uh, Hellion Harass uh, with this strange build. Um, stealing the gas, getting the pool first. And, except last game I think got the expansion first. We do have the Baractor port going down again. After these first three Hellions are probably going to be used to harass. However, the Roach Worm is almost done. So a few Roaches are probably going to be up, going to block the ramp. However, this expansion will not be able to be saturated until those Hellions are uh, disposed of or dealt with in some form of speaking. Anywho, this Hellion out now, he's gonna burn some Zerglins. Running out across the map in his little jeep. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna start attacking the expansion? No, he's gonna go and go for the Zerglin kills. Yeah! Real men kill Zerglins with flamethrowers. One Zerglin down, two Zerglins in. Two! Ha ha ha! Two Zerglins dead. Oh, Queen's gonna get a few shots off on him. Completely pushing the Hellion away because you are not a good Hellion. You do not want to kill that Queen, Mr. Hellion. And here's some nice overlord position here from Lalish. Sacking one in here. Seeing that there's a tech lab going on in the starport, so we're going to have some more Banshee Harass going down this overlord position nicely, too, so that he can sack in easily. So we are going to have uh, some good old Terran harassment play. And it looks like, uh, I think Nama might be practicing this build, like, these might be some build games. Um, basically build games. Or at least that's what I call them. It's probably a technical name for it that I don't know. It's if you have a new build and you want to see how good it does, you play a few games one day on different maps or the same map or something like that, and you do the exact same build over and over again, and you play against one person uh, who's really good at what you want to go against. Like, for instance, Laosh might be really good at Roach Hydra, so maybe Nama's testing this build against Roach Hydra. Or maybe Laosh is testing his build. I don't know. 
either way, um, that's what I think this is going to be, because you normally don't see two players go the exact same builds twice in a row, especially with this kind of build from Nama after a loss on the first game. Maybe he's more confident on this map, though. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Or at least to me, it doesn't. To you, it might. You might be out there totally raging and be like, oh my gosh, it matters. I'm, I forgot what I'm even talking about. What matters? Anywho, we do have the first Banshee out. It is moving across the map. Lausch expansion is down, and he is getting a hat or a lair now and an Evo Chamber, so we are going to see some Spore Crawlers probably defend against these Banshees. This Banshee going to be able to push the Roaches back, because Roaches can't shoot up. Banshee getting one kill, making that Roach blow up. I love the sound Roaches make. Roaches should be like this really, like, meaty, hearty, big unit that's, like, strong and tough, and when it dies, it should make a manly sound. Instead, it makes this, like, <laughs> squealing sound. Probably just all deafened you with my Evo Roach impression. Anywho, Spore Crawlers going down at the natural and in the main for Lausch, so he's completely compared, prepared for this and uh, his lair is almost done too, so he's easily going to be able to turn away this uh, Terran Harassment build that's Hellion into Banshees. This map, not the best for Harassment. Neither is Lost Temple, which they played on last time. And he's allowed continuing to drone really hard, making six drones at the moment. Uh, getting another support Crawler. Going to sack this Overlord in. Uh, looks like this Overlord's going to go down, even if it doesn't get sacked. Yeah, those Marines are going to shoot it down. I do know we do have the uh, racks going back, so we are going to see Eminem Ball again, with some medvacs and Stimpak going on. I like the new Stimpak thing. Looks like fancy drugs. It's like so pretty and colorful. I want to touch the drugs. First medevac down to him. This is quite a few roaches for this point in the game, though. Uh, and a few spore crawlers, just to make sure that these banshees don't come in. There are two banshees, note. One of them is a very hurt. That's the one with the three kills. Are they going to come and find anything in the main? There is an infestation going on, so no hydra den this time. Very interesting call here. Banshee's splitting up, too. This banshee's staying out. The other banshee getting in. Almost getting shot down, too. Going down to about half health. And we do have infestors going down. So it looks like uh, Lao is tweaking his game a bit from the past game. Going to forego the hydras, because hydras aren't the best against marine marauder balls. Going to go for roach infestor, which is also very good, especially if it's more marine heavy. Roach infestor rips marines like they're nothing, and it is fun. Uh, anywho, nothing much going down right now. A bunch of upgrades, though. Siege tank, siege tech, uh, Terran infantry one, stim packs. So it looks like we're also going to see some siege tanks backing up the M&M. That can be very effective against a multitude of different Zerg strategies. Do note, this is after the patch. That's why we have these cool little timers up here. That's, these timers are awesome. We have the hive going down, too. So pretty similar play again. Uh, so yeah, siege tanks after the patch. Uh, they only do 35 damage to light. They still do the same damage to armor. Uh, different damage to light though. Are these banshees? They do get that last circling. Cause, uh, so these banshees do uh, combine for seven kills, but I think most of those were on low units, like roaches or circling. Is this queen gonna snipe this banshee? The queen just needs to shoot it twice. Uh, nope. Banshee's gonna run away. Anywho, uh, while we're starting to mac up a bit of an army, he's making roaches, infestors, lots of roaches coming out. So it looks like Lao's gonna go, go for the good old roach infester. Uh, move all burrowed army. However, it can't shoot air, so these Banshees are actually going to have complete dominance over for the time being. Uh, do know Nama is trying to contain with this bunker, and he is going to push it back. We need to see some queens that come with to shoot these air units, the Banshees, or else we're not going to have anything. Ooh, do know there is a fungal growth going down. How many Marines will it kill? There is a medvac to heal them, but the Marines did stim. How many Marines are going to go down? A few Marines explode there. Uh, not too good, though. This medvac was able to save through it. However, the medvac is very low on uh, energy. This investor now has nothing to do because he's out of energy. More roaches continuing to be pushed. We do have Glory Constitution and Zerg Ground Level 1 coming down for the Laos Zerg player. We continue to have more Marines, Marauders, Siege Tanks, and Medivacs going down. So, Nama doing the good thing, getting a plethora of good Terran units. He's putting up a Missile Turret too. This bunker is going to be in a good position. These Banshees are also going to ward it away unless this Queen can take him down. Is this Queen going to be able to take him down? It looks like the SCVs repair the Banshees, and that Queen's going to go down, and Nama's going to have firm control over the middle of the map for the time being due to these Banshees in this bunker and the Missile Turret. He's getting combat shields too, though, to make those Marines extra resistant against Roaches, make him take three shots for the Roaches to kill. We don't have an Ultra uh, Den going down yet, though. Ultras would be very good against this, I feel. Uh, just getting more Queen. So it looks like we're going to see Queen Roach. Uh, Mass Queen, I've seen it used Zerg vs Zerg, and it's really kind of funny how well it actually works, Zerg vs Zerg. 